Hello there, Virgo. I hope you're doing good. And Virgo, let's find out how spirit is helping you currently first, and then we'll get into your timeless oracle messages. And this is for Virgo and sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And my little kitten Lenny just came and joined us, so that's cute. All right, let's see. Oh, this card wants to speak as well. Oh, we got the four of wands. You may be setting up shop here, so to speak. You know, just basically setting a great foundation to thrive in. So spirit is helping you hit a major goal, a project, seeing things come to completion. Now there could be something with the home as well, but Oh yeah, look at this. We've got something that has come to an end and it's giving you some type of stronger foundation. So trust what's going on, even if for some of you, it can bring, you know, maybe we've gone through some type of devastation possibly here, but rest assured that spirit is helping you uh, build a solid foundation to thrive from. All right, let's see. Now, some of you, there could even be something that has to do with a marriage or a commitment that we may have ended or that it came to an end and spirit is helping you stay strong no matter what being at home in your own skin and being comfortable so just take what resonates but we do have fire sign coming through and air sign all right let's see what spirit wants you to know when it comes to your current situation for virgo We got the emperor. Now this is perfect when we we're talking about a solid foundation. Oh my goodness. And we have the ace of swords here. So there's something about a breakthrough here, especially when you're talking about stability, security, or being shown the way to forge that for yourself in your own reality. And then I also see a situation here where we could have some uh, significant communication with someone. Now it could be a uh, close family member. It could be a lover. It could be a friend, but most importantly, I am seeing someone who can help aid you. Um, if there is some type of guidance that is needed, but most importantly, I do see you sitting in this emperor position because there's something about getting a victory here possibly some type of justice as well, especially when we've had to endure uh, such uh, maybe a tragic ending or just an ending that we did not see uh, coming, right? And that could cause some type of um, conflict here. All right. So I would say, Virgo, this has been in your energy too for a while to not worry too much about you know, your own sense of stability or security, and also maybe with a uh, present or a future partner as well. I feel that you are doing what you need to do to gain control. This might be a time uh, too to, you know, kind of sit with um, spirit and receive some guidance and messages, get a pen out or you know, pencil or your tablet or your phone and just jot down some things that you might be getting. Um, and I would also set up some plans if you don't have plans, just because there is something about seeing something through completion and you are achieving some type of important goal in your life. Let's see what else. I feel this emperor is also cutting what needs to be cut out. Now, some of you Virgos, you may be in this place of contemplation and um, wondering what we need to remove. And I feel that you're getting exactly that, the clarity that you need. What are you not saying that's eating you up inside? You can't keep this in forever and it's time to let it out so you can move on and be happy. I mean, spirit, I mean, look at this. Ace of Swords is speaking about communication, speaking. Ooh, let's get more too about this speak up. Let's get more. What's important for Virgo to know about this speak up? I feel the emperor is, you know, uh, giving orders, so to speak. So it might be time for you to, you know, assert yourself. Anyhow, let's get more about this speak up. We do have a resolution. Okay. 
Whatever it is that you've been struggling with is about to be resolved. Remember that resolutions don't always happen in the way that we hope or want, but being able to move forward and start fresh always brings relief. Okay, so Virgo, when the opportunity arises for you to, you know, say what you need to say, just to get it out. And, you know, this could just be to the heavens for right now, but yes, I do feel that there's a conversation, right? That there's going to, that we need to have, or possibly that you've already had. And you just need to trust that, you know, you are in total control and power right now. And I wouldn't be surprised, Virgo, if a lot of people um, give you a lot of respect or soon there's going to be a lot of respect for you because look what you're, you're doing. You're building from the ground up because you basically had to. You also may be figuring out or have figured out what may cause, um, you know, something not to be safe for you and your new environment or your environment right now. But here you are moving forward. All right, let's see what else. break free. That's that ace of swords, Virgo. We're using that, that power of that sword. That's your new start. That's your new beginning. You're being asked to break free from the tribe in order to live your authentic life. This isn't easy, but it's very necessary. If you're going to share your true self with others, be brave, be real, be you and trust that those who love you will always be there for you. That may have already occurred, or some of you may be still figuring out, getting more information and coming to a conclusion when it comes to breaking free from a certain uh, tribe of yours. Let's get more to when, you know, <laughs> we have this four of wands here too. So it's like, you do have others that will support you. Let's get more. Let go of control issues. Allow this uh, situation to unfold naturally. You got to do what it is that feels right for you. Cause I am seeing something about not backing down from something that you may want to do, provide or take over. I just feel that you're ready with that emperor um, position here. And yeah, we're breaking free from, you know, maybe controlling uh, people or family members or maybe something that we just feel bombarded by. But Spirit is saying, you know, if you can break free, just let it go and let it be because something or someone is going to show you what's next. So just allow the situation to unfold naturally. And I do see a new beginning as well with this passion card. To me, this passion card really resonate, resonates as Ace of Wands here. And there could be something or someone that's very attractive that you want to go after, but it's necessary that we break free from something that could impede this pro uh, pr process or block it, so to speak. So here you are allowing your soul... I say your soul, but your heart, yeah, your heart and your soul to sing with joy. And I feel that that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Set, someone is setting something up. You're setting the stage up right now. And you are bringing forth or gravitating towards this new beginning. I do see someone here, <laughs> you know, with that emperor... And that four of wands, we could be spending a lot of time at home or uh, with someone in an environment, maybe it's their environment or whatever, and we're just enjoying some time together because we finally have come to some type of resolution here that brings you relief and some type of celebration, actually, because that four of wands and that passion card is bringing you celebration. Continue to trust the situation is calling you to uh, have faith. The situation involves marriage. Four of Wands is also a card of marriage. I don't know if I brought that up, 
The emperor is someone that is marriage material because we do have someone that is married or wants to get married, okay? Or, you know, a good partner for the long run. We have a commitment here. So if you don't feel that you resonate with that wedding card, so to speak, um, there's a commitment here. So you need to, I feel that you already know what to stay committed to regardless of circumstances of what we see with our physical eyes and trust your third eye when it comes to, you know, visions about the future. What else? Okay, you got a past life relationship here. Finances and career are an issue, but this is your soulmate. All right, so hmm, let's get a look. What's important about this past life relationship? You may be connecting with someone or, or we may need to just make room for someone in your life right now, but there's, a, there's also this thing about someone coming into your future here where the soul just recognizes one another but we may need to break free from worrying too much or overdoing it. I feel that you're in your queen of pentacles energy, whether you're male or female Virgo. Um, so there may be a real need to, if you haven't yet, you know, get some type of structure or a new structure where you can find more, um, balance with work, career, home life, you know, or whatever you've got going on, because I feel that you need to make room here for someone or a new situation here because this ace of wands is ready to grow. It's ready to be planted and it's ready to grow. And we do have something about a lot of love and passion here too. So it's kind of sexy. <laughs> I see something sexy here as well. I'm just putting that out there. Okay. Let's get more about this past life relationship. I just saw the word ship on that relationship. So I I, I'm getting this thing about three of wands for you. Your ships are coming in. What you need will arrive. All right. So you're being asked to make a choice that you've been struggling with. It's time to decide which path you're going to take. Listen to your intuition and eliminate everyone else's input and feel your way into the choice that is right for you. The time is now. Okay. So, so you know, some of you may be dealing with someone that you already feel you've um, had a long history with, okay, whether it's this lifetime or a past lifetime. Um, and you're, you know, I feel that you are breaking free from an old tribe or an old way, something or someone that may just feel, um, you know, I don't know, strong or dependent on you, so to speak, or maybe it's vice versa. But you are making a choice here too. Someone, okay, we may even have someone from the past, someone from the future here. So we need more about this choice. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Slow down. Okay, so life isn't a race, nor is it a competition. You need to slow down. Doing so doesn't make you weak or less than. It makes you strong, wise, and much better able to navigate life with clarity and ease. And this is what you're doing. Look at the emperor. Emperor is not running or racing. He's actually sitting in the, you know, on the throne here. <laughs> commanding, uh, attention and presence. Uh, okay. So we are slowing down and we are getting the clarity. That's that ACE of swords here. Okay. So slow down. Spirit is going to help you navigate your life here, especially when it comes to choices with relationships, because I feel this is like a, a, a uh, an old tribe or, you know, something like that, or an old soulmate here but we have a new soulmate or a soulmate that you may um, need to make room for because yes, this is your soul, soulmate, but financial issues are a factor in your love life. Let's get more too about that financial and the career. All right, you've got, you've got the high priestess here. Quit doubting yourself. I feel that there's a lot of doubt going on at times. So just watch it slow down. You don't even remember you're not in a race here. And if you feel like you have to go fast that when you're going f too fast or you're feeling like it's not going fast enough, that can cause doubt here. And we, we don't have time for that. 
some of you, you may be connecting or are someone that does some type of spiritual work or something that's mystical here. Um, and you're running your own business, right? And we're tending to that garden, but you may need to look up and believe in yourself here. Cause there's a lot about trusting. Okay. And trusting someone too, because there is a strong, like a uh, psychic connection here. All right, let's see what else comes out for Virgo. Six of Cups. Oh, my God. This is, <laughs> oh, my God. Past life. King of Swords. Okay, we, we do have someone. There may be even a reconciliation or a reunion of some type, but we do have something significant about past life relationship, a soulmate here. You may need to detach though. Okay. Some of you guys may even be dealing with, okay. This is not for all of you Virgos, but some of you guys may deal, be dealing with someone who's like a boss like energy. Uh, they may even be divorced. You may even be divorced from them or separated from them. But I feel that you are detaching here. From the past, you really are breaking free from an old tribe or, you know, something that just may feel just old and worn out. And we have a res we have resolution here. Don't let your memories. So spirit is saying, especially when it comes to the past, you know, for having a hard time letting go of something or someone from the past, don't let the past, you know, skew your view of what is happening right now and what's to come. I feel that you're going to gain a lot of information from someone. Okay, so what's important about this um, King of Swords here? Let's get more about this King of Swords. Oh, this, 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 this your soulmate, this could be the one. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay. You, you, somehow, some way you've already met them. Your souls have passed. Now you could be getting ready to meet them. So just get, just be prepared. This could be the one. I mean, we've got the six of cups. <laughs> so there's remembrance here of some way. Now, if it, if you don't uh, resonate with the remembrance, then what, it, what it's going to feel like is a instant connection. Okay, some of you, because some of you Virgos have already been dealing with this person here. Some of you, you haven't met them yet. What else? You're being asked to fully believe in yourself and your dreams. It's time for that idea that's lived inside your heart to be brought into the world so others can benefit from it. Believe that you can bring it to life and you will do exactly that. And that Ace of Wands, that passion card that I'm getting, that's exactly what it is. That's that new life, that new energy that you need. So it's already aligning here. We even have this card of a line. You're being asked to align with your current situation, even if it's not easy to do so. Trust there is so much to be learned by being here, right? Because you're slowing down and you're just being with the circumstances, how they are right now. Trust that there is so much to be learned by being here. Pushing against what is will only make things harder on you. Align, surrender, and trust. Align, surrender, and trust. What else? And I do feel you're gathering a lot of information right now. So you do want to take things slow. Check in. Wow, that landed in reverse. Did you see that? How it fell like, like just fell right there on the high priestess and the finance and career. When you think about whatever it is that you're pondering, take a moment to check in with how you feel about it. Do you feel lighter or heavier, excited or filled with dread? Pay attention to your inner guidance. It's also, it's always so helpful. So make sure you are checking in with yourself. Now I can see we've been tending to things, right? That may have, may have been overwhelming or it's too consuming that we may not even be checking in with ourselves to see what, what we're feeling about things. 
So make sure that you are doing that. I feel that could be a challenge right now. What else? Okay, wow. We got some strong energies going on here. I feel like we're really doubting the process. That's what's going on. You're being, a, you're being asked to let go of your need to control each part of your life and surrender to the universe. Control is an illusion and it's exhausting to try to hold on to it. Um, let go and allow yourself to enjoy the relief that comes from doing so. Okay, so this is really, you know, um, the way that you are surrendering. Uh, start paying attention to how you feel about something. Does it make you feel lighter or heavier, right? So if you're trying to control something, that's, that's going to be an automatic um, heaviness, right? So see if you can just ease up on it a little bit. What else? Look at that. You're being asked to open to abundance. Yeah, I see like seven of pentacles here or eight of pentacles with this finance and career card building up some type of security or wealth for you. You're being asked to open to abundance to believe that you're deserving of it and to believe that it will flow to you. So this is why it's important to continue to check in with yourself, right? If you're feeling tight or restricted on the inside, think about what you're thinking and just shift it as much as you can. Because this is the first important step to receiving your abundance. Breathe deeply and trust that it's on its way. So you're not pushing against, you're just being fluid. What else? Healing. Yeah, some of you have had some type of real devastation, I feel, or tragic situation with this like relationship or someone here that has had to cause a lot of healing. Maybe there was just something that was, um, that ended here where, you know, we thought we were achieving some type of major goal, but it didn't quite uh, work out that way because your body and your mind and soul are in a period of deep healing right now. You're going through many transformations at once. So that's a reminder for you because you don't physically see well, I guess you could physically see the many transformations once it's kind of completed and over because your outer wo world and how you feel um, will match up. But you can't right now physically see the healing that's taking place and the many transformations that you've gone through or are going through. So first off, slow down and pat yourself on the back, okay? Because you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. So it is time for you to receive healing, healing energy, healing vibes, because heaven is sending it to you. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Good. So here you are. And we do have someone, okay? We have a guardian and we also have someone that is uh, a trusted ally possibly here, another, uh, earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So we are slowing down, paying attention, pausing before you, um, you know, maybe make a decision because I feel that you are gathering a lot of information, but don't be afraid to make a decision as well when you know it's time to. Okay. But we're also on the path of reliability, security here. Keep believing. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is moving at a, what, maybe what, too slow or a snail's pace, but it's reliable. I feel that you need to continue to trust that you're on the right path when it comes to, you know, what you've been uh, working towards, nurturing, tending to. What else? Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> I feel that this is that abundance card. This is the Ace of Pentacles. So we have good fortune, something tangible. Okay, so this is a good investment. It's prosperity. It's some type of material need uh, coming your way that is a true blessing because you've been, you know, doing your due diligence all right. So stay committed on that path, but don't overdo it. Cause I do feel that it's time to kind of, you know, look up and just see, you know, where, what you've done, where you're going and enjoy it. Okay. What else? 
Yeah, you're in being in the present moment here. You're being asked to spend more time in the present moment to stop ruminating about the past or longing for the future. Your life is happening right now. And when you're not present for it, you miss all of its beauty. So just slow down. Because when it comes to a, an important relationship for you, a re, a, an important path, it's all happening at the right time. Okay. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. <laughs> You're just in this process of, you know, choices, slowing down. What else? Ah, compassion. This might be a little bit challenging too, because I felt like it was a little, wanted, it wanted to come out, but it was a little bit hard. And we may have been hardened here or watch out not to get too hardened, right? Because there is something about you opening up and receiving. You're being asked to be kinder to yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself a break. Instead of being a taskmaster, a bully, and a horrible friend, be a loving comforter who always has your back. I mean, this is about you giving yourself love, right? You're doing all that you can and you're doing enough. I feel that needs to be your mantra, that you are enough, that you're doing enough, that you don't have to uh, be in a race, right? What else? Open up. You're being asked to open your heart to another and let down your walls and trust that they, oh, this is okay. Yes. Cause you're going to let down your walls and trust that they want what's best for you. Your life will open up in wonderful ways. Once you decide to open up, here you are deciding to open up and here we've got that foundation here. No longer feeling that we're held in some type of weird position or held down here. Okay. What else? So for the time being, if you don't have someone that you're opening up to, I mean, I'm sure you got friends and family members, but maybe this is about love, you know, act as if just practice now, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I do feel that you're going to feel that you're on a vacation. Now it may be time to take a little break and go on, you know, a mental, physical, and emotion, uh, emotional vacation seeking that serenity and peace on purpose. But this is a time to let go and just enjoy what you have, who you have. And also trust that we have some type, you know, there's a situation that involves marriage here. So when the time is right, I see you being able to spend that quality time together with the one or the ones that matter the most for you. We got that pause card. Okay. We have that slow down and that's what that knight of pentacles is doing is pausing as well. We're being asked to pause before making a quick decision and moving forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. Allow yourself to step back and look at all of the possible outcomes and make sure you're headed in the right direction before moving forward. That's this knight of pentacles here, but also notice in the finance and career card, you know, she looks in, like she's looking intently at this, you know, few flowers or whatever. And if we're too focused on just that and we don't stand up and look at the grander scheme of things, we may miss something. So be willing to, to really stand up and look at how far you've come and what, what is really available for you. Take it a little bit slower. I feel you need to take it just a notch slower, a notch or two slower. There may be something with sailing or being on water as well. I'm getting that vibe of you and water. What else? Worth. You're being asked to honor your worth. Mm, take some time to really honor your worth. It can be easy to feel that we aren't good enough or worthy of happiness. This simply isn't the case. However, you are worthy and you have inherent value. It's time to cherish yourself and to see your true worth. This is why we need to slow down here. You may not be realizing your value. Sometimes we get lost in that, especially when we're, you know, bombarded, bombarded with too many things or maybe too many duties or obligations or whatever, but also breaking free from an old thought process as well. Okay. An old self had died here, right? The one that feels unworthy or maybe someone that could have uh, projected their own unworthiness onto you, 
right? And you may have absorbed this. So clear your energy. Take care of yourself. I feel this, this like Ace of Swords is like a shield for you, right? To never forget your own power and presence and your ability to be sharp and take the lead on something here. I feel that you, you, you know, you've got this real great thing about strategizing, writing things down, figuring things out, but then let it go and go play, do something else. What else? Release your ex. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can just see it. Wow. The time has come. Didn't I just say, didn't I literally just say this? Clear your energy. I swear I got, I did. So look at that. It's time to, um, the time has come to clear your energy. Okay. So we need to release an ex or we need to release some old commitments here or something that's going on that you already know. Cause I feel that gets replaying in the mind, right? Back and forth or something's going on here. We don't know. We might be questioning, you know, if it's the right thing to do, but the time has come to clear your energy. Maybe take a step aside from situations and people if you need to, so that you can get the clarity. Cause sometimes what happens is when we're too close to something or someone that we may need to take a step back from, we can't get clear. We can't, we can't cause we, we get someone's energy. We're influenced by something and someone here. Okay. So release that your ex, some of you may need to release your expectations because, you know, take it if it resonates Virgo. Sometimes I feel that you can expect too much from others at time. Okay. Um, and that's not like a bad thing, but you know, I think it's more of you. You expect too much of yourself. That's what it is. So release too much expectations on yourself because very soon it's going to happen. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You know, take some time out to clear away the energy, the things, ideas, or people right now, and give yourself permission to start fresh or a clean slate here. It's not that you have to start over because trust me, Virgo, you already got the skill set to continue moving forward and prosper. We're just, we're going to be investing in the right things. And someone wants to invest in you too. Okay. What else for Virgo? Give. I, I feel some type of Native American energy coming through. So take it if it resonates or there may be something about a medicine man, medicine woman. You may be that. Shamanism. Um, you may be that too or you've got something in the bloodline with that. Okay, so one of the best feelings we can experience is giving to others. When we do so, we feel lifted up in our lives, improve greatly because of someone else's happiness. Think of one way you can give to another today. So I feel with this give, it's about just giving with, without any expectations. Again, I was getting that release your ex and expectations possibly here. Um, just give when you want to, but it may be helpful, especially for those Virgos. If you've been really so focused on, you know, yourself or other things or things that may not be going so good, you know, whatever it is, and just shifting your focus on other things to give to can really help something, uh, resolve itself naturally faster, you know, so don't hold back. I feel that you may even doubt your abilities to give, uh, in a way that, um, I just feel that you've got some type of really great gift here with that high priestess energy, right? You may be keeping and holding yourself back or holding some secrets in that you may want to share or share with the world and giving will help you align too. And it will help you with your own, um, self-confidence, I feel that you are also, maybe you're doing this right now or get into a new routine or a ritual. There may be some type of ritual that you're doing, like a sacred ritual, healing ritual, a beauty ritual. I mean, I don't know, but I feel there's something with, you know, ritual and uh, sticking to that. So fresh start, fresh start. Here you go. So there's that ace of wands being planted there and now it's sprouted. So nurture keep nurturing this. You're being given the opportunity to begin again, allow yourself to embrace this new life and open up fully to this gift that you're being given. 
don't give up on something. Don't give up on anything here. I know it can be difficult at times, especially with that 10 of swords. My God, it can really be difficult to get back in the place where we can begin again. Okay, what else? Because we are dealing with some very mature energy here. So yeah, it's. It, I feel that you've invested in something or someone for some time here. And, and that can be hard, you know, to let go. Um, and, and some of you, you're waiting for some results. You know, you're like, when is this going to grow? When is this going to blossom, right? You just, you had you to just kind of let it do its thing. You know that anyways. Okay, release. You're being asked to release any toxic people or situations from your life. Oh, man. I feel that that's like <laughs> that past energy here. You deserve to be free of all drama, and this is the first step to achieving that. You know, give yourself permission to not be around toxic or negative people because it's wreaking havoc on you in a sense. Well, you're a lot stronger than that, but you know, if you don't need to be, or you don't have to be, you know, slowly release yourself from those things, ideas, or people, especially drama people. Okay. Wow. What's going on with that? There's like a, okay. I feel this release is one, another card here. So let's see what wants to come out with this release. Because once you release, you know what happens, Virgo? You automatically invite peace. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> You deserve to be free of all drama. And this is the first step to achieving that. You're totally, totally letting go of karmic situations and karmic people and opening yourself up to a new opportunity. It's basically kind of like going into a whole new timeline for yourself, Virgo, because you know what? Something has already led up to, you know, a final conclusion and having justice where we are adjusting to a whole new way of life. Libra is coming through with the scales, but spirit is saying, continue to release, but don't give up here. Your perseverance is paying off. Hold the course is what spirit is saying. Hold the course, what you need, who you need for resolution, for justice, for freedom. It's coming. We're letting a old karmic story, um, go as well. And you're literally rewriting a whole new story. One of, I feel, opulence and how it shows up in your world. Love, compassion, and work, right? We're doing our work, but not letting things overtake us too much. What else? Also, take it if it resonates. It won't for all of you, but some of you may have ended or, or uh, you dealt with someone that may had a lot of addictions or a, a, maybe not a lot of addiction, but maybe there was something about, you know, substance abuse. I'm just picking that up, <clears throat> but I do see something about it being healed or getting clarity on that. Oh my God, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I feel you already know. I feel you already know. We got that thing about speak up. Okay, let's get more about this deception. What's important for um, Virgo to know about this deception card? Like liar, liar, pens on fire. <laughs> Someone is wearing a... Okay. Let's get this deception card. Okay, you know what's going to happen is a revealing. Something is going to be revealed here. Look at the angel here that is like untying the mask so that we can see what's really going on. Let's get more about that. Someone from your... Oh, God. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I like that or not. Someone from your past is returning to your life. We do have a reconciliation. We were already talking about that. Okay, so I'll get another card, but I am kind of getting this vibe that, you know, we may get, you know, some like clarity. We could even make amends here. Maybe someone wants to be truthful, you know, because we do have this thing about compassion. So maybe be willing to hear out, um, hear another one out. Okay, but I'm going to get more. I really do need to get a little bit more um, advice for this.
because that came up, this came up a couple of times with this choice card and someone from your past, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so something is, so, someone is coming here, okay? Now, I feel that we're going to get to the bottom of something. We're going to get some type of truth. Maybe there's something that will be exposed. Um, but anyhow, we do have a resolution and we have reconciliation. You may also be getting to this place where you're reconciling some type of past hurt and betrayal. And so you're reconciling and balancing your own internal, um, world, right? So that you can, uh, be free from holding yourself back because of some type of pain that was maybe bestowed upon you. And so you're reconciling and making amends with yourself, your world, your environment, and allowing yourself to, you know, go with your feelings, right? Because your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I do feel that you're going to be connecting here, um, on an intimate level and exploring what's possible with yourself and with others. I mean, we have this thing about passion, All right. So clearly decide, you know, what you want. Hmm. Gosh. And you got that whole thing about exploring your feelings. You're going to have to feel something out here with someone Virgo. Okay. And you know, the thing is, is remember what it, what's the wisdom of your body telling you about a certain person or a situation here? If it, if it feels really off, if it, if it's negative, it will, it will drain you. And that's your first cue, okay, on whether or not that person is going to be someone that you want to keep hanging out with in the future or not, because we do have the doors of justice. I always see this as like the doors of justice is like closing the chapter on, on, on a situation and on people because you're not meant to give up here. You're meant to persevere here. This is the nine, the nine of wands is perseverance. Also that wounded warrior. So you're going to see s some type of justice. Now, remember, it may not be in the way that, you know, you want, but at least it's going to help you move on. Okay. So just take that because it, for some of you, it may be what you want, but some of you, it may come in a way that, you know, you don't expect, but it will help you move on. And I, I feel that you just need to concentrate on the good that's happening here because what you want will come to you. What else? Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. So I do see you having the freedom to go after and explore your feelings with yourself, with the world, with someone, right? Because you're expressing your love and, you know, spirit It's like, yeah, open up, open up. When you are opening up and trusting more, you're actually opening yourself up to more um, abundance, more gains in life because you're not restricting the flow. Okay, what wants to come out with this? Express your love. Spirit knows you're tired, okay? Spirit doesn't know you're tired. And that's funny because I see like a, a eye mask there. Um, how can you bring more comfort into your life? You can increase your comfort through tangible things such as soft clothes and food and intangible things such as thinking loving thoughts uh, about yourself and inviting peace into your heart. And also, you know, find comfort in another. If you have that person available, friend, family member, maybe it's a pet, do what makes you feel good and comfortable instead of feeling like you have to do all the uh, background stuff, because you're doing the, all the background stuff, like doing all the work and the worrying and the strategizing, you know, and it's like, you know what, now it's time to come on stage, actually. Just be present to your life. And um, don't, you know, don't hold back here, you know, reach out to those things that are comfortable. And I also see someone that's going to be offering you comfort if you don't have that yet, because yeah, you're calling in your soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Here you go. What else? Yeah, it's time to take control. It's time to take back control of your life. So be present into the, the moment here because maybe we are just in our head or doing too much. I mean, this freedom card, 
you know, put this in your situation. I feel that you're ready to explore other things, a bigger world, <laughs> different opportunities here. Okay. And that's what the emperor is doing here. You are, you're taking that sword and you're gaining control. Yeah, you're cutting ties with the wrong tribe or something like that. That's what I was just getting that message. Okay, knight, uh, oh, page of um, cups here. This is good. So you're um, moving into exploring some new feelings, a new emotional situation too. Um, and also there may be something with just paying attention to your dreams and, and maybe something that ignites you when it comes to some type of creative thing or artistry. Uh, but we do have some type of romantic encounter, messages of love here. There it is, that new chapter. What else? Nope, that's it. Okay, so Virgo, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future for Virgo. It's time. Okay, there's another card that wants to come out. So you're being asked to move forward toward the dream that you've been carrying in your heart. It's time to bring it out into the world. You're ready. It's time. I mean, that's in the near future. And there you are a, uh, in a very strong presence, by the way, with the emperor and that ace of swords. There's another card that wants to come out with this. It's time because it's going to be no better time. Oh my God, there you are. Queen of Pentacles. There you are. Oh my gosh. I feel like she's coming out onto stage. You know, I was like talking about that, like you coming out onto, you know, the stage, you're no longer in the background or backstage doing all the work. I feel, you know, that's just kind of the energy I'm getting. So just, I'm speaking metaphorically here, but maybe for some of you, yeah, maybe there is something about stage presence and maybe something with, you know, theater or something like that, or actor or actresses. Anyhow, queen of pentacles. Oh my God. Okay. So you are feeling really good and abundant. You're ready to nurture those that you care about or what you, what you care about, but also most importantly, you feel really well balanced, well taken care of how your abundance shows up is from the heavens and you are being comforted. So my God, it's time. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles is the uh, epiphany of like, you know, queen of abundance. This is where you are, whether you're male or female. Now also this queen of Pentacles is a soulmate too, because it's time you're ready. <laughs> Make your move, show what you got. Don't, don't dim your light. Oh, this is great. Okay. So I hope that this was helpful. Love and light.